And now we will be joined by Dr. Hela Smain, and she's a tour guide. She'll talk to us about tourism in Sharm el -Sheikh. Actually, Sinai is a perfect destination to enjoy the sun, sea, and adventures. Sinai houses the most popular beaches, resorts in Egypt, offering travelers an ideal accommodation opportunities and options. Sinai also enjoys fame as being the scuba diving center offering many other activities like visiting uh, the colored canyon, hiking, watching the sky and the stars, also uh, holding safaris in the desert, camping and the beautiful sand dunes. Many activities can be done there in addition to the religious also excursions like to St. Catherine and to uh, the Moses Well, uh, Sinai was famous as a chief pilgrimage route and was a home to many cultures. This sacred land hosts the popular archaeological monument as mentioned before of St. Catherine as well as Mount Sinai. Sinai overall is amazing and the southern part of it is the most beautiful. It has beautiful coral reefs and beautiful nature. Now I'm joined by uh, Dr. Hala Smail and she's a tour guide and she'll talk to us more about that topic. Welcome with us. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, let's start first with the uh, the recommended, you know, taking it from the expert, the recommended sites maybe and treasures in South Sinai that you can uh, recommend to whether local tourists or uh, foreigners. Of course, for everybody, <laughs> welcome there. Uh, we have a lots of sightseeing there. Uh, we have uh, San Catherine. Uh, we have many places, of course, uh, so uh, travelers can do anything and we have uh, options for them. Um, just uh, climbing mountains, sea, sun, warm, warm hug. This is the best thing we can say. You used to welcome, you know, everybody uh, with our weather, with our perfect places, resorts, uh, uh, beach bagging. So everything we can have it there, so we can enjoy it. You know. So this is for the known sites. What about the undiscovered areas? Or maybe the things that you would recommend that people are not really. Uh, visiting uh, a lot? Of course, uh, uh, maybe um, some of them, especially people uh, for the accurate uh, stuff, uh, for homeopathy, if you can hear about it. So uh, some of them, they are coming just for these herbs there. So you can find very rare uh, herbs there uh, in Sinai. W where in Sinai? In South Sinai, yes. especially. Uh, and of course, uh, they can Bedouins. They can know the places uh, through uh, the narrow uh, alleys, so they can follow them there. Now, yeah. now for uh, the tourism right now, now tourism is low in Sinai and Sharm el Sheikh, especially following uh, the uh, Russian plane incident. Now, from your field of expertise, what can we do about it to counter it and encourage tourism? Uh, this is a big question, especially. Uh, um, we have two questions at first. Yeah. Uh, we have the fourth generation war, especially we are suffering in Egypt uh, lately for this field. So we, I have two questions first of all, uh, why they are doing this and the timing, especially for Egypt. Uh, why? Of course, uh, you know that Egypt is, uh, right now started to grow up to solve its problems, uh, its economical ones, political ones. And some of the countries and some people, uh, they don't like that. They like to see Egypt just still suffering, still uh, floating, okay, like this. Uh, the timing, of course, uh, once, uh, I'd like to say that uh, since uh, our president went to uh, England to London, the capital of Muslim Brothers. Uh, there, uh, of course, this is a time for them because they said that they have information about the plane and they didn't tell us about. Mm -hmm. And they said that last of August, uh, they uh, uh, had information as well that uh, rocket just be uh, uh, headed to their plane there for the British Airways. Why? They, they, they did say that at, at once, at that time. They yes. said that right why, now. Why was, why was it announced now? Oh, you're right. Why now? Especially after the crash of the plane, the Russian crash, okay? Uh, uh, Airbus 321. Why? Uh, this is one question. And directly, 
they ordered uh, uh, their uh, people or uh, tourists just to evacuate the place directly once uh, El Sisi arrived there. Yani, they needed to embarrass our president, but he didn't let them to do this. Okay, uh, uh, something else, uh, of course, this is the time of the bourse, uh, of uh, uh, tourism bourse there, uh, just to uh, destroy the industry itself. Of course, the tourism industry. This so, is so you second. Have this aspect also of how it will affect at this, you know, a crucial moment where Egypt is trying to actually promote for uh, tourism. Right, right. Because it's the cake and everyone wants to take the big cake yes. from a uh, tourism uh, uh, field, okay? So you think the position <coughs> or the stance of uh, Britain also is not appropriate for the tourism industry? Sure, sure, sure. It, it, it's a bit, it's, uh, they did it in purpose, I think. I think, I think the tour guides now are speaking more about politics. Of course, yeah, ever. everyone, everyone, yeah, because, because not, not only the tour guides, it, it, yeah. of course, it affects all of us, but uh, I usually too interest about uh, politics and yes. economy, I studied them. Yeah. Oh, well. maybe that's why, right. yeah, interesting. Yeah. Uh, uh, second, uh, I said second, uh, mm -hmm. third thing uh, uh, regarding to, uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, this is the high season, of course, for tourism in Egypt, uh, started already. So they intended to destroy our industry. It's the holiday season. Yeah, well, yeah, holiday yeah, season. yeah. Because of our weather, it's freezing there, you know. Yeah, but Christmas. here we have this sun, you the can sun see. Christmas, yes, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the beginning of it. So they intended to destroy it. Uh, 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 but I, I think, I doubt it. They could do this because the Egyptian, they know what they are doing, and uh, uh, we are recovered from this uh, very now, soon. Yeah. Now, Helen, and many of the tour guides or most of the tour guides now are involved in campaigns to promote tourism, like um, promoting for the hashtag This is Egypt, promoting for the President's uh, Initiative, which uh, was planned to be launched on the internet to promote for the various touristic sites in the country, in addition to. So many uh, other campaigns like uh, the campaign uh, or Egypt will endure and many other campaigns. Now, are you involved in any of these campaigns? Uh, um, not now because... We're supporting uh, it. Yeah, uh, of course, I'm supporting them because, you know, I have something else to do, but uh, I'm supporting them. And I know many of them uh, are sharing uh, for this uh, and I think it, uh, it will be good. But we need more. We need more from everyone, not only from the tour guides, not only uh, everyone. He has to share, hand by hand, mm -hmm. uh, just to have it back. And we will, I'm sure. Yes. yes. Well, that's quite informative. Now, for uh, what's the latest news you have about um, the, the guides and their problems? Uh, I know that there are a lot, especially with the low season, but especially in Charm, when working as a tour guide in Charm el Sheikh. Uh, sometimes, uh, uh, they, uh, they, uh, at the last minute, they used to change the plan and uh, their ways. That's why they get in trouble, mm -hmm. maybe because of that. Yes. Uh, so it, it has to be more well organized. Yes. You well, know, they have to share yeah. the company and uh, uh, the tour guides, everyone. Well, they have to share. Yeah. Well, tour guide, Mrs. Hala Ismail, thank you very much for this interview. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, and now let's learn more about the latest news of the 24th round of the Arabic Music Festival and Conference. And we will be looking into more details with it with our Naya TV's Basmatah.